Welcome back, Arsenal fans, to another thrilling update on all things Gunners. Now, let's dive into the heart of the matter. It's no secret that Kai Havertz has been a sensation for Arsenal this season. After a somewhat shaky start, the German international has truly found his rhythm on the Emirates turf. Havertz has become an indispensable figure in Mikel Arteta's squad, showcasing his prowess on the pitch with each match. In the recent clash against Luton Town, Havertz once again stole the spotlight. His pivotal assist to Martin Odegaard for the opening goal propelled Arsenal to a crucial 2-0 victory, sending the Gunners soaring to the top of the Premier League table. It's moments like these that solidify his importance to the team. However, amidst the celebration, there's a lingering concern. Havertz's disciplinary record is raising eyebrows. With his needless yellow card against Luton, he's now teetering on the edge of suspension. If he receives another booking in Arsenal's upcoming fixtures against Brighton and Aston Villa, he'll face a two-game ban, a blow Arsenal simply can't afford as they navigate the final stretch of the title race. But hey, before we continue, if you're enjoying this update and want more exclusive Arsenal content delivered straight to your feed, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a beat. And if you're liking what you're hearing so far, go ahead and smash that like button too. Manager Mikel Arteta isn't taking this lightly either. He's aware of the stakes and emphasizes the importance of Havertz staying clear of further bookings. Arsenal's discipline has been commendable this season, boasting the best disciplinary record in the league with just 44 yellow cards. But they can ill afford to lose Havertz, especially now when every point matters most. Before we wrap up, I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Havertz's performance this season, and how do you think Arsenal will fare in the title race? Drop your comments below.